it seems that you have a very interesting process to put content together. It's very, very thorough. Yes. Um, could you talk about just sure. how you put it together and what people like about it? Yeah, so we, we drive our content, uh, our, our content library based on uh, mainly two items. We look at it, is it a regulated uh, course? Is it something that the province or the state is requiring each caregiver to have in specific states or provinces? And then we look at what our clients asking for. So for example, yesterday we had a client who said, can you build out training for us on bed bugs? That is something that is super interesting that could be helpful. And then the third way we're looking at it is when things come up like COVID or like vaccination training or anything around infection control is really uh, important right now to keep people safe. We have script writers, we have clinical nurses, we have lawyers overlooking to make sure that the regulation is correct. And then we have what's called instructional designers. And what they do is they look at what are we teaching and who is the learner? We, we build it in plain language. We build it in micro lessons. We often have it multilingual. So we have our whole library in Spanish, Russian, um, Mandarin, Haitian Creole, and we're building up to 14 different languages. Uh, so we're looking at the learner and then we're looking at what are we actually teaching? How can we ensure that the learner who's a caregiver in our case is retaining that knowledge as best as possible? So sometimes we're using a, our studio. Sometimes we're using video. Sometimes we're using animation. Sometimes we're using gamification to learn. We have different modalities and our instructional designers are skilled on deciding which modality we're going to use. 